Keep a Simple Phone Tech here. We're taking a look at iPad OS once again. This is the up and coming iPad. I've got a public beta version going on here. So this is part two. I'll leave a link for part one. The first thing we're taking a look at is me attempting to get to this peak and pop feature. So it's going to be available on the Apple apps. I don't know if it's going to be available on all apps, but if you can make it work, you'll be able to get to, say, key parts of the app without actually having to open the app up. When I try to get it, I sometimes get the option to delete whatever app. So we'll see if that maybe changes once the official version comes out. Next, we are taking a look at copy and paste gestures. So you highlight, you pinch in, and you can copy text. Then you select where you want to put your cursor, you pinch outward, and you paste, and you paste, and you paste. It's a nifty new gesture, and I don't know if I'll be using it myself. We're going to take a look now at the volume indicator. And the volume, it's not in the center of the screen anymore, so it's up and out of the way. So you can see what's going on with your volume indicator without it taking up the center of the screen. Moving the cursor around, that's going to be a lot easier to do if you can get a handle on this. If you have a bunch of text and you got to get your cursor in a certain spot, it'll be easy just to grab it and move it around wherever it is that you need to so you can make adjustments in your text. So that is what I think a very handy feature once you get used to moving that cursor around with your finger. Next up, we're taking a look at scrolling on the web page and instead of just scrolling up and down with your finger like you would traditionally do so, you can grab the actual scroll bar and you can scroll up and down that way. So you can do it a lot faster, it's a lot more efficient. Some changes for the Photos app. This is a nice refresh happening. So the layout for years, months, days, and all photos is a neater presentation. Also, gestures. Again, gestures is a big part of iPad OS and iOS 13, but you can use gestures to be able to maneuver from years, months, days, and all photos. You can also use a traditional, you can just go up top and then tap on it and get to where you want to go as well. The layout looks nice and neat, so it's just a cool refresh. And again, gestures allowing you to maneuver through your photos. Next, take a look here. And you've got the option for fonts. So iOS 13 and iPad OS are going to have this option. I don't know much about it. I'm presuming that you're going to be able to download from the App Store. And you will have options for different fonts that you can put in. Also, you will notice something missing. iTunes Wi-Fi Sync. That will no longer be available, apparently, in iPad OS and iOS 13 since they're sort of phasing out iTunes. So just be on the lookout for that. Lastly, we've got more and bigger, and that's going to be your icons. You'll notice that the icon size have changed. Well, with this latest beta version here, I think I've got public beta 4. Um, if you choose more, you'll get the smaller icons. If you choose bigger, you'll get the traditional size icons. But with that, that'll wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching. This is Keep It Simple Phone Tech.